Hello friends and welcome to my new video. It's Saturday evening here in Germany and all I can say is wow, what a week. I got a lot to share today because something incredible happened again. Long story short, a good friend of mine who's also a record collector called me and said that he somehow got a contact and there is a guy who's willing to sell his whole collection. And he asked me if I want to join him. And I said yeah. Maybe I had to think about it for a couple of moments, but I said, yeah, okay, even if it's one hour to drive, let's go and make a road trip. And that's what we did this week. And it was incredible, I can tell you. All we knew before was that this guy had around 2000 records to sell and mostly rock. And of course, that can mean a lot. And I was disappointed so many times when people said, oh, I have rock music and stuff like that. And in the end, they just had trash and garbage. But this time it was crazy. I told my friend, if we want to go and take a look, then it has to be just tomorrow, because otherwise the collection will be gone or the good things will be gone. So we made the trip, we drove to this guy's house and it was incredible. Um, he had all the records in one room and he said, uh, so these are 4 euro, these are 5 euro and uh, these uh, we have to talk about how much those are. And we said, yeah, okay and we almost spent three hours to go through the whole collection and I think we both bought incredible great stuff um, classic rock, psychedelic rock, kraut rock, uh, some 80s music, classic rock uh, actually a little bit of everything but there are so many titles that I was looking for for a long time and in this case the, collect, uh, the, the condition was incredible good um, high quality stuff and I can't wait uh, to show you what I found and uh, yeah, the other thing is I have to say <laughs> I, I blew my whole budget for the month, you know, when, when we um, were in the car I said to myself, come on, maybe 100 bucks are good for today if he has some good stuff, I will spend 100 bucks and in the end, like always, I ended up with, uh, yeah, spending a little more than I actually planned but that's the way it is, you know, sometimes if the opportunity comes you just have to jump on it and that's what we did <laughs> so i hope you like my finds i will uh, show them behind the camera and uh, i didn't listen to all of the next albums yet but uh, um, i will talk about some of them detailed in my upcoming videos so i hope you enjoy it and yeah let's start it off all right let's start so I got 28 records in total and I'm still blown away by the finds because there are so many German first pressings, US pressings, UK pressings and I only bought the stuff which was in best possible condition. So actually every of the next records is in near mint condition though. The first one is uh, the Jimi Hendrix Experience, Electric Ladyland. I already have this German first pressing but this one is it's almost unplayed in perfect condition and it's the really first German issue. Yeah, what an album and I'm happy to finally have it in perfect condition. The next one is The Gun, original US pressing, of course, with the famous track uh, Race with the Devil. And in this time the cover art is by Roger Dean and yeah, I was introduced by the VC into this one, I can highly recommend it. This one is my favorite Vertigo Swirl album, I already have a, a German reissue but this is a UK pressing and it has, and it has the six-part fold-out cover. I will show it in my next Vertigo Swirl uh, record video, but this is incredible. It's not on the Swirl, but on the UK spaceship labels, but still, uh, yeah, the cover is so cool. Uh, this one is Lucifer's Friend, the German Swirl, where the groupies killed the blues. Yeah, classic prog rock, great. Beggar's Opera, and this one is called Pathfinder. Yeah, I like the cover art, typical Vertigo Swirl, great stuff. Unfortunately, the poster is missing, but still. This is a best of compilation of the first five albums of Gentle Giant, and it's called uh, Giant Steps, the first five years. Yeah, very cool. I listened to this one yesterday, actually. I could also find some Krautrock. This is Grobschnitt, and the album is called uh, Jumbo. And in this time it's with the English lyrics, there is also a, ger a version with German lyrics, but that's the English version, Grobschnitt. The next one is an original uh, pressing on the Green Brain label of the third album of Jane. Love the cover art, very psychedelic, uh, great stuff. 
This one is a perfect copy of a Grobschnitt, Rock Pommel's Land. Love the cover artwork, it looks so cool. Finally, uh, I got this in the collection, yeah. This is an 80s reissue of Birth Control, Hoodoo Man. I already have, uh, have it as first pressing, but this one is in perfect condition and I just had to get it. Birth Control, Hoodoo Man, what a crazy cover art. The next one is called Sweet Smoke, Just a Poke. Also have this one, this is an upgrade copy. Yeah, and uh, this is a great album, perfect. The next one is a German first pressing of Nectar. And the album is called Remember the Future. Yeah, Nectar, essential uh, British band that lived in Germany in their, uh, in their main band time. The next one is by Ashra and it's called Correlations. Yeah, I would love to get the early Ashra stuff, but uh, this was a great find. It's on the Virgin label. Up next, this was on my want list for ages actually, it's Caravan, in the land of grey and pink. It originally came on Deram, but uh, this is a German first pressing on uh, Metronome. Yeah, great cover art, fantastic prog rock, that's what I'm talking about, amazing. And the next one, Camel, Mirage. And this is a UK first pressing on the Deram label. Pavlov's Dog. I saw this at my local record store for a couple of times, but I never bought it and when I wanted to, bo uh, to buy it, it was already gone, so I could find it now, of course with the famous dog cover, and this is Prog Rock as well. The voice is a little um, heavy, let's put it that way, but still a great album, I love it. That's the best of compilation of Aphrodite's Child. Best of, love the cover art and also the back cover, oh you can't see it, but it's on the Mercury label. Yeah, German pressing. Best of Aphrodite's Child. That's a German first pressing of The Who. Who's next? I still miss this one. Yeah, classic rock. Of course, with the most famous track Behind Blue Eyes, which was later covered by Fred Durst and Limbiskit, but nothing beats the original version. You know what I mean? I could finally found, uh, find a good copy of Free. Fire and Water. This is not a first pressing, this must be a UK 80s reissue, but uh, still a great find, uh, still missed it. Of course, All Right Now is the big hit. Yeah, and I got this one because I saw it in Ben's video, Ryan Rocks 84. Johnny Winter, Second of Winter, um, US first pressing and this is only pressed on three sides, so the fourth uh, side is empty. Yeah, Johnny Winter, fantastic. Unfortunately, he died last year. That's uh, Beatles, the White Album. Uh, that's a Dutch pressing. Uh, the cover has some wear, but the records are near mint, so I had to get it. Fleming Groovy, still shaking. This was a blind buy, but I think I saw it somewhere in the VC and I just got it and can't wait to give that a listen. It's on Buddha Records. This is the debut album of Leonard Skinner. Yeah, that's very hard to find in Germany actually, they don't appear that often. And yeah, I also found uh, Leonard Skinner Street Survivors with the uh, flame cover. It was later replaced. Uh, it's a long story behind it, I need to check it again, but I think the support band of this tour had a plane crash and then they uh, replaced the cover artwork with the flames to a black cover art. Another Frank Zappa. Joey's Garage, Act 1. Uh, I never listened to this album before, so I can't wait. I'm a big Frank Zappa fan and I'm getting more and more uh, into his music. And this is some 80s music, New Order, Substance, UK Pressing, still missed it, classic album. And last but not least, I bought a punk record and it's by The Descendants and it's called Enjoy. Yeah, that's it. All right, so you just saw all of my finds and please let me know uh, what you think about uh, them in the comments. I, I would love to hear your opinion. And like I said before, I'm still a little bit shocked about how much I spent. So all records together were 170 euro. That's a little more than my whole vinyl budget for the month, but yeah. Vinyl talks, you know what I mean? That's the way it is. Uh, I, now I have some 
more stuff to listen to this month and um, yeah I will show some of these records in my upcoming next videos there is some Vertigo Swirl upcoming and also some new jazz finds yeah that's it for today uh, I hope you have a great weekend feel free to like comment and subscribe and yeah talk to you next time bye bye